you imprisoned Nigerian artists. Why? That, that would have made even issues worse. And I can guarantee yeah. you, the artists were taken to prison because the promoter and the family of the promoter spent the whole night at the police abusing the police, the, 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 the policemen. Oh. So that kind of attitude never solves any problem. A smiling face always solves a lot of problems because before anybody starts to attack you, the smiling face will always be, you know, uh, cheeky and, and, you know, and then, and, and Bebe is like that because I respect policemen. They, they do their work, no matter how, you know, poor they are, no matter whatever happens, no matter what condition. But the best attitude is to always be with a calm face, a calm voice, and a smiling face when you're in trouble. Because then you, you, you have a chance for people to listen out to you. I agree with that, though. In problem solving, the attitude is not necessarily always anger. Exactly. You might actually escalate things further. So with that, uh -huh. I think I can understand. Um, okay, and then there was also this tweet. Baby, just be patient with me, yeah? There was also a tweet where she said, and I quote, this is very sensitive, that in the car when you people were driving back, which means you took them in your own car, I mean, to take them. But she said you said something about Ugandans love Nigerians, but Nigerians do not love Ugandans as much. That's a heavy statement. Um, I think I, I think she lied because first of all I didn't pick up uh, Thames in my car. I only picked up okay. the two boys because both of them were put in two different facilities. I asked the lawyer oh. to go pick up the lady. I gave the lawyer a female policewoman to go to the okay. facility of the lady and pick her up. And then I personally went alone to pick up the boys. So I have not spoken about Nigerians loving Ugandans or not loving Ugandans and Ugandans. The thing is, there was a lot of issues that were happening. And, um, yeah. you know, back here in Uganda, Bebe who makes a lot of news and, 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 and uh, negative comes always because of my political affiliation with the government. So people pump things into others. But I can guarantee you, um, when it comes to that issue, if you ask me, do do you, if, if it is you to ask me to, do you think Ugandans love Nigerians or Nigerians love Ugandans? That would be a question I would love to answer. <laughs> I want to ask you, Bebeto, do you love Nigerians? Do you have a problem with Nigerians? Are you, are you one of those people who think Nigerians are too ambitious? Do you love Nigerians? I'm asking you now on life. Ah, beautiful. Now, let me tell you something. I love Nigerians because of one thing. Nigerians don't stop at anything. They will pass through anything, and that's Bebe Kool's attitude in life, okay? Nigerians are so aggressive. I don't like so many things they do, of course, in some places where they become funny, cheeky, you know, dubious, doozy, and they are blah, blah. But I mean, then they have a different way they're doing it in different countries. For example, if they're these guys who, who hit a lot of money and then blah, blah, blah. They're doing it in such a way that they're not harming people's lives. Okay, they can steal the money, they can do whatever they do, but they're not hurting people's lives, they're not stabbing anyone, they're not killing children, they're not doing anything, they're just being aggressive and clever. So, that in the world has put Nigeria somewhere. Nigerians are so many out of the borders of Nigeria in the rest of the world, which has given Nigeria a stand that no one else has in Africa. So instead of hating on a person like that, I believe in learning from the, a person like that. So for me as an artist, baby, there's no way, no, I don't even have a reason to hate Nigerians. Why would I hate them? After all, they have what I, they have what I want. So I'm supposed to get closer to them, take a piece of cake, and then that's it. So the, 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 the so you only love that. Nigerians, like you think, you think you got us love Nigerians. Ugandans love Nigerians, but Nigerians have one thing. They're not sharing equally. They're not giving Ugandans a cake. But <laughs> <laughs> so you want to collect our cake. Um, just no. adding to this, right? I was in Uganda mm. to shoot a music video, and on the set of that shoot, um, my phone was stolen. It was a new phone. I was hurt. Bad. I didn't say Ugandans are thieves. I recognize that there are thieves everywhere, irrespective of which country or what part of yes. the world you come from. Yeah. So what I said is, one guy stole my phone. I didn't. I, I can't generalize it. I can't begin to mm. say, ah, fear Uganda, they are thieves. No, people from everywhere still. So in the same way, some people say Nigerians are aggressive, Nigerians are cunning. 
you will find thieves everywhere in the world, even in America, even in London, even in UK. And so I prefer to take each case as a unique case rather than generalizing a whole country. I agree you know, with you. I agree with you. One I agree with you. But one, one thing you must know is no matter what it stands like, it's always good to admire a person who is ahead of you. Nigeria music industry is ahead of Uganda's music industry. And as Bebe Cool, I started working with the likes of Clarence Peters and all the high level uh, directors you have in, in Nigeria. Long years back, 15 years back. The reason was because I needed to learn. Right now, I spent about uh, $800,000 to go buy cameras, to go buy equipment, that uh, Clarence Peter uses when I take him to South Africa. What am I doing? I'm trying to get that Nigerian uh, uh, thing and, and put it in my country. So that shows you how much I'm interested in, you, you know, uh, uh, putting these industries together and learning from the better. So this aspect of saying, uh, uh, um, you know, don't like these artists and they're, no, 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 it doesn't, I, I don't care. I mean, I've been with the, all uh, the P Square, the band, you know, and these are the guys that give me. By the way, in all this thing, I, I can guarantee you, Vicky, that the biggest voices know who I am. 